Hey everybody, this is Vanessa DeVerlay and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to earn money from YouTube views. You hear, you see all these big gurus and how they're making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, but what about a beginner? What does a beginner do? What do you need to do to begin to make money and what does it look like in the beginning? And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So stick around if you're new and you're getting discouraged because you've created a channel and you're like, am I ever going to get monetized? Or two, maybe you've never created a channel and you're thinking about doing it. If you fall into those two categories, then you need to see this. All right. Other than that, you might not want to stick around. First of all, I have to tell you, I just got monetized in the last few days. All right. How did I do it? I'm going to share that with you today, but let me show you what I woke up to this morning when I looked at my YouTube channel. When I came, I want you to really focus over here where you see the arrow pointing. I have revenue of $8.40 and you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, who can live off of that? Well, you got to remember whenever you start a business, you have to put the work in first. You have to build those systems and foundations and put all those things in and then you start seeing the rewards and you know that. You know that deep in your heart. There is no magic pill or magic formula where you're going to start making money fast. That would be a scam. Um, so one of the things on my channel that I promise you and anybody viewing is that I will always tell you the truth and this is the truth this is where I am today and how did I get there I met the qualifications which I'm going to share with you in a minute but when I started my YouTube channel I didn't even know what I was going to do and I wasn't really even sure about monetizing it I just knew that for my affiliate marketing business I wanted to start making how-to videos and teaching people how to start a business now in the beginning I was just starting my business as well and Part of my reason or my reluctance for not jumping in when I should have was I kept feeling like I have to be successful before I can teach people. And then I watched somebody else's video and they said, no, there's always going to be somebody who's trying to achieve what you have that's not there yet. Does that make sense? So think of it as a hierarchy. If you haven't even started your channel yet, then you're watching me saying, hey, she's a beginner or she just, you know, she doesn't have 10 million viewers or subscribers and she's above where I'm at. So I'm going to watch her. And then I'm going to watch people who are above where I'm at. Maybe they're, maybe they have 10,000 subscribers. And then that person with 10,000 might be watching somebody with 50,000. Does that make sense? So you don't want to be watching somebody that's way out of your league because they're already looking at things and doing things that you're not ready to do yet. And that was probably the best piece of advice that I ever got. The second piece of advice that I got, I was watching somebody above me and that person said, when I started my channel, I made it a goal to get monetized. And what I did is I made a video every single day for a year. And I thought, okay, so last year, actually it was December, right after Christmas, I started on December 26, 2018. My decision was that I'm going to make a video every single day until I get monetized. I almost made it. I think I went, I think I brought it down to six times a, a week after about eight months because it's like I needed that one day of a break. And then just about two weeks before I got monetized, I started only making three videos a week. So I pretty much followed that format and it worked. I got to my qualifications and now you can see revenue. I'm going to be honest with you. I just got monetized about four or five days ago and I really didn't expect to see revenue yet. I really thought I was going to make 50 cents uh, my first month <laughs> and then go from there. And so I'm really excited about this $8 and 40 cents. I am stoked. Well, what I did is I went over to my AdSense account because that's where you have to go to, um, collect your money and put in all your banking information and all of that. So they're showing $5 and 53 cents. So that other $3 hasn't gone from YouTube to AdSense yet. I'm still excited. So here are my stats, my analytics that I'm showing you. And I am so, so, so excited because it works. And that's what I want you to see. If you're thinking about starting a channel or if you've been trying to meet those requirements to get monetized, keep 
doing it. It happens. Okay. And I am so excited. I don't think, I think if you see me a year from now and I tell you, oh, I made $40,000, I don't think I'm going to be as excited as I am today. And that's why I wanted to make this video to show you it works. And I'm so pumped. Now, what are the requirements? Let me pull those up for you. For those of you that want to get monetized and you're not sure what you need to do. Now stick around because I have a course that I want to show you. It's free. I'm not offering the course, but the course is how to launch a YouTube channel. And it's like kind of like a 30 day course where they're going to take you through day by day. So I'm going to explain that to you in a moment, but first let me tell you what your requirements are to get monetized. Okay. I went ahead and typed these up and I wanted you to see it. You have to have a thousand subscribers and you have to have 4,000 hours watch time. And that does seem daunting. It seems like, oh my gosh, well, what I did, I just started making videos and I honestly didn't know anything about SEO, uh, search engine optimization. I didn't know anything about keywords. All I knew is that I was going to take my phone <laughs> and start making videos. Actually, I even went out and got a, an external camera for my laptop. So most of my videos are from this little external camera that I spent maybe 50, 60 bucks on and my laptop. Honestly, um, I, haven't upgraded to a camera and an SLR or anything like that. I'm still using this little one because that's not where I'm at right now. But 4,000 hours watch time. I just kept putting out how to videos. I kept looking for what are people searching for within my niche. Um, I, my thousand subscribers, I have to tell you my first three months, because I didn't know how to get subscribers. I didn't know any of that. I had eight subscribers by the end of March. So you're talking, 14 weeks of making videos every single day. And I only had eight subscribers. I even had a friend that said, I'm going to watch every one of your videos and I'm going to put likes on it. And I thought, bless your heart. <laughs> you don't have to do that. But again, that's where I was in the beginning. I had no knowledge, but I kept watching other videos. I kept gaining knowledge and I kept learning what I needed to do to find those, um, keywords and things like that. And Hey, Am I going to get better from where I am today? Absolutely. But my point is what you need to do is make those videos and make them every day and stick with it and keep learning. And now you're going to have people who have more knowledge than me and they're going to say, well, you don't need to make a video every day. You just need one a week or two a week. Okay. Maybe so. Maybe that's all they need to do because they've already put their time in and they've already put their training in, if that makes sense. Your training is when you're making those videos. I didn't make those videos thinking anybody was really, um, I was going to get all that watch time. I, I was making them to try to learn how to make videos, to be honest. You have to put that time in and make them and make some crappy ones and then keep getting better. So that's what that's about. And now those videos are back there and now I can go back and change my um, thumbnails. I can change the keywords and things like that and get, get it so that they're being viewed. Some of them are crappy and I'm not working on them, but other ones weren't too bad. It, the problem was I just didn't know how to do that part. So it took me a year to hit a thousand subscribers. I actually hit a little bit over 2000 and my $4,000, uh, $4,000, I wish 4,000 hours of watch time. So don't get discouraged. But on the other hand, don't think it's going to happen overnight. Are there people out there that do in six months? Sure. Go watch the videos, find out how they did it. This is how I did it. I have no regrets. I'm excited. And there you go. Now, let me show you if you have never made a video, you're absolutely, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to launch a channel or anything like that. Let me show you what you can do. Before I show you that training, um, some people have asked me, how do I find the, how do I know how many subscribers I have? Or how do I know my watch time? Go into your channel. Once you make a channel, you kindly kind of go to YouTube and just um, write, go into www.youtube.com and you can just follow the prompts on how to create a channel. Even though you don't have anything on it, you can still have a channel. Okay. And then you want to go over to the left and go under analytics. Once you start making your um, videos and in analytics this channel analytics right here, it tells me in the last seven days, how many views I have, my watch time and hours, how many subscribers I've gotten and now my revenue. Now you're not 
not going to see revenue until you're monetized. Now over here to the right, change that. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time within a 12 month period. Now, again, if you do it in less time, that's great, but that's what you're watching. So I have the 4,000 hours watch time. Now, I don't know if YouTube changed that to hours, but I noticed when I first started um, watching my watch time, it was in minutes. And you saw on my chart earlier that that would be like 240,000 minutes a year or 20,000 minutes a month. And I was watching it in minutes and then all of a sudden it turned to hours. So I don't know if it changes to hours when you hit a certain point or if YouTube just changed it, but I wanted to give you the math. Um, you could figure it out yourself obviously as well. All right. So now what I want to show you is this training. It actually is called launch a successful YouTube channel in just 30 days. Now this training is being put on for free a 30 day training for free from vidIQ. And I have a link below so that you can take advantage of this. The reason you want to hit my link is because with my link, you also get 30% off on a three month subscription. Um, it's very cheap. Go in, look at it, check it out, but you're going to get a 30 day training with your subscription on how to launch a YouTube channel. Now, what do you get with this? What are you going to learn? Um, this is definitely for beginners. Um, it, you're gonna, they're gonna help you focus on a, ta a topic for your channel because one of the things you wanna do is be consistent. You want, don't wanna one day talk about how to train a dog and then the next day how to make $100 a day on YouTube, or as an example. And then the next day, maybe you're gonna talk about um, how to travel to the Bahamas on a vacation. You wanna think about what is my channel about? And they'll talk about that and help you come up with a topic. Most people have somewhat of a topic. Um, maybe you want to do health and fitness, but you, you don't know what part of it. And that's okay. Just start, start talking about that. And eventually you'll go in more deeper into a niche. So don't let that stop you, but definitely have a main topic. Okay. Um, they're also going to help you build your channel um, and how to generate views and subscribers as well. So this is a training I wish I had a year ago. Um, then they're going to teach you how to make good videos, how to have lighting and a, and a camera and things like that. And again, don't go out and spend a bunch of money. I haven't watched this training, um, but I know it's being offered. Um, I may even go through it myself for the 30 days and just see what's in there, but I just found it. So um, I got really excited about it. I thought this was great for people who are just starting out. And then it's going to talk about um, what you need to do every day for 30 days. So it's going to take you from the beginning and take you all the way through. Now, some of you might be saying, I already have a channel. I already know what my niche is. I already know that. It's set up to where you could jump from day one, maybe to day 10, because you can see all the titles. So if you feel like you don't need those beginning things, um, you can jump in right where you are. But again, with that, you also get a subscription to vidIQ with 30% off, which is amazing in my opinion. After that 30 days, after you've built your channel, you're using vidIQ, they're obviously gonna teach you how to use that too because vidIQ wants you to have a membership. But if you decide you don't want that, just cancel it. No big deal. Um, but go in there and take advantage of this 30 day training, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Can you learn all this stuff all over um, YouTube? Absolutely. I have a playlist where I have a lot of different things I've taught. I'm going to put that down in the subscription, uh, the description down below. Um, if you want to go through that, that's fine. But mine isn't laid out in 30 days. I love this kind of training because it's step by step. This is what you need to do before you go to step two. And I think personally, that's the best kind of training out there. So I definitely would take advantage of it if I were just starting out. I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of this and this is something that IQ just put out. So there you go. I'm going to give you a little recap on what vidIQ offers in their training and you can see it right there. So check it out, see if it's something for you. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button right now. I am putting out three videos a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Like I said, it used to be every day, but I've narrowed it down so I can spend time on other parts of my business. And that was my goal when I did that was to get monetized. I've met that goal. I'm still going to put out videos because this is the, my favorite part of my job with affiliate marketing is putting out videos to help other people start their business. So Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you.
for watching today.